Ujambo na karibu kwenye Football Fans Clan, channel ya pekee hapa nchini Kenya inayoangazia tu maoni na hisia ya washabiki wa soka kila baada ya mechi kubwa. Kama we ni mgeni, usisahau kusubscribe. Tunakushukuru kwa kutazama hii video. Mchezo leo Sevilla kati ya Sevilla na Arsenal. Mchezo umeuonaje? Ah, mchezo umekuwa mzuri. Hasa kwanza mimi kama Arsenal pata ushindi dhidi ya Sevilla ni jambo la busara sana kwangu. Ingawa second half pale kipindi cha pili mimi wamejaribu sana kusukuma na Arsenal sana ya hata ukiangalia mchezo wa wakati ule mwingine wiki mbili iliyopita bado walitusukuma vivyo hivyo tu so lakini leo naweza sema timu nayo ya Arsenal imejituma ila hali ya wako na wale washambulizi wao eh, Gabriel Jesus ama Nketia but eh, wamejituma yeah ni frame mchezo Okay, tukiangalia midfield ya Arsenal hii unaweza isungumziaje ambayo Jorginho amekita pale pia Havertz pia ameweza kuaminiwa unaichukuliaje hii combination yao ya Teta hii Okay naweza sema kwamba kiungo cha kati hapo kwenye kiungo hilo ingawa eh, ni nadra ni kitambo tangu tuone Havertz Jorginho na Rice wakicheza pamoja na unakiangalia Havertz hapo nyuma amekuwa chini so ndio leo amecheza mchezo wao umekuwa mzuri lakini ukiangalia yule amekuwa na kazi nyingi sana ni rais kwa sababu lazima baada arudi pale haweza kumzingira Jogino yes so ana kazi sana anapocheza na wachezaji wawili hasa Jogino e, tofauti na wakati anacheza na party yes kisha tena utarudi kupata kwamba tumemkosa Odegaard so kusekana kwa Odegaard inazidi inazidi kumpatia rais na kazi ngumu sana sasa sasa atazirudi kusaidia Jogino na pande tena anakuja kuwa jaribu kutengeneza mashambulizi yetu so kidogo kwake imekuwa kazi ngumu tunamoverload yes lakini leo nimeona utofauti kidogo hasa ukiangalia hapa tame improve uh, yako tofauti na wakati alipokuwa amesajiliwa kuja Arsenal so naweza sema at least leo wamefanya kazi nzuri. Okay, tukiangalia nyuma pale pale kwenye defense ya Arsenal. Tomiaso ameweza kutoka akaingia Zinchengo. Je, Tomiaso kutoka kwake ilikuwa ni kwamba ameshindwa na huu mchezo kudhibiti au alitolewa tu akapumzika kwa mchezo ujao wa Premier League? Uh, kwangu mimi naweza sema ameenda tu kupumzishwa. Uh, Mwenzake pia aweze kucheza. Ukiangalia ndio Tomiaso ni beki hasa kabisa kabisa yeye ni beki lakini ukiangalia Zinchenko ni beki na pia ni kiungo. So kumtoa Tomias kumleta Zinchenko ni, ni tactical substitution, ni tactical to, to give more room for in the midfield. Yeah, at least there's some dominance in the midfield. So it was a tactical substitution. Kumfumzisha huyu tumlete huyu ambaye anaweza kucheza more deep. Ukiangalia mechi ikienda kuisha amemtoa Saka kumleta Kiwior kumleta kiwio sasa zinchenko akaenda kwenye kiungo kabisa kabisa. So ukiangalia ni advantages kwetu tumekuwa na defender tumemtoa defender tumeleta kiungo kisha sasa kumleta tena beki mwingine huyu kiungo ambaye tulimleta wanga anacheza pale kwenye beki sasa ameingia kucheza kwenye midfield inatupatia more advantage because uh, ako fresh at that moment na he's more cheeky and more creative. Yeah so it's advantages but i can say it was tactical yeah okay tukiangalia pale mbele ateta amecheza mchezo bila striker ni sema hivyo akamtumia Trossard kama striker na Trossard tumemzoea tume kucheza kama winger wa upande wa left na sasa amecheza na wingers wote watatu je jambo lolote lingetokea tu la dharura lile mbaya ingekuwa kidogo msikosoko kwenye arsenal ah naweza sema mimi kwangu mimi eh na nina mwewa na believe kwamba any attacker can play in every attacking position. Yes. Haimaanishi uh, kama sasa wale wale washambulizi wawili walikuwa maumia sasa timu hizi ende uwanjani. No, lazima timu ende uwanjani. Yule pale hata utapata siku moja beki aza cheza pale kwenye shambulizi na iweze kuwa na tukashinda ama hata akafunga tukaona ni mzuri pale. Sasa tie ni shambulio ni mshambulizi lakini wale wachezaji wa wenzake wakitambua kwamba yule anaweza tusaidia pale inakuwa rahisi. Kwa mechi ya leo kiangalia amechezesha false nine tunaita false nine kwa njia kwa jina ya kimeni kwa lugha kimombo. Kwa hapo kuwa na false nine ni advantageous kwa timu. Because one 
no one au mabeki wa opposition hawatajua ni nani tuna mark is the main person so ni kumficha shambulizi mmoja kila wakati wanazunguka wanazunguka yani they are roving to give advantage to the team so naweza sema leo hata ingekuwa mbaya tungekubaliana na matokeo kwa sababu hatuna shambulizi lakini to my believe every attacker can play in every attacking position yes okay man of the match wako unampatia na ile kwangu mimi ninampatia Declan Rice ya yeah, protect team ame show leadership na without him even with Saka Martinez but without him today tungeona shida sana yes because he's more amekuwa akicheza roles kama mbili peke yake an attack at the same time ana defend of the ball ana recover hata akipoteza mpira anarudi ana recover mpira yenyewe kwanza ha make sure ziko kwenye uh, mali safe ndipo size kutulia so for to me he has shown leadership aggression and everything that i can give for a best player and a man of the match